We're talking with Dr. Larry Robinson. He's the Vice President of Scientific Affairs at Embryo Health Sciences in Ankeny, Iowa. We're talking about Epicor, Dr. Robinson. It's made from yeast, and how does yeast affect the body? Well, it all depends on what the yeast is. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're talking about a pathogenic yeast like Candida, which most people worry about, obviously mm -hmm. that's very negative. But what we're talking about with Epicor is simple brewer's yeast or baker's yeast, uh, scientifically known as Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Oh, okay. So, I mean, this is a very beneficial yeast. People have been consuming this particular type of baker's yeast in bread, beer, and wine for millennia. So it has a huge safety record and a lot of benefits for the body. So this has the same yeast in it that beer, brewing beer has? That's correct. So then would drinking beer be good for your health? Like, say it's true. <laughs> well, I, I like to think so. I, 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 think, I think that's true. It certainly makes you feel better temporarily. Uh, in fact, it probably does have some very good health benefits. You know, beer, especially dark beer, is known to have a very high antioxidant uh, capacity. Really? Uh, the hops in the beer, uh, which make it bitter, if you like bitter beer, is also very good for you. In fact, people have been consuming fermented products, again, for millennia, and it's likely that people didn't get allergies or get as sick as much in the early days because they were exposed to the good uh, microorganisms, if you would, like the baker's yeast and the fermentation products that, they, that the baker's yeast makes. So, in effect, they were being exposed to these types of chemicals and compounds for m millennia. And so beer is probably good. I don't recommend uh, mm -hmm. drinking beer every day to uh, get your n nutritional supplements, but uh, certainly um, <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with having a beer. Okay. Would that apply to wine or any of the other products that you mentioned? And again, there's a lot of really good things in wine. You know, for example, they found a chemical called transresveratrol, which is a very good antioxidant in red wine. But you don't want to be drinking wine all day because it has negative health right. benefits too, obviously. So if you can take the good benefits of the fermentation then, and not take the, uh, the bad uh, mm -hmm, the benefits, negatives, the negatives and the, and the excessive alcohol, then uh, you're much better off. Okay, and Epicor can help solve that problem too. Absolutely, because Epicor is based on a yeast, uh, baker's yeast or brewer's yeast fermentation, but we've improved it so that it even has better immune balancing properties. We've looked at the immune enhancing aspects of yeast fermentations, and we've got it down to really a fine art now in this proprietary process where the end product, which has the, the baker's or brewer's yeast, as well as these fermentation products, these good things that mm -hmm. all these fermentations make, uh, we've optimized that for the immune system, and that's what Epicor is. And you don't have to get intoxicated. And you don't have to get intoxicated. <laughs> you can if you wish, but you certainly don't need to, and you, and you won't get intoxicated from Epicor. Okay, thank you, Dr. Robinson. You're welcome.